So today, my goal is to set something really hard. But not just that. My goal is to set something really hard that doesn't suck. Because if difficulty is all you care about, that's simple. Anyone could set a hard boulder. You just take small holds and put them far apart. Voila, got something hard. But it's not necessarily going to be a fun and thought-provoking series of moves. Might be a good problem for a training woody. Speaking of training woodies, the sequence that I want to set for the crux on the boulder that I have in mind is actually inspired by a really cruxy sequence that I did on a training woody when I was living in Australia. It was really hard and cool. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Oh, I think I succeeded. I actually ended up with quite a few moves on this thing. And other than the crux section, I managed to do all the other moves at least once during forerunning. The intro and ending sections are pretty cruisy and not too bad, but there's still a few non-crux moves that are pretty damn hard. The crux section is two really hard moves, and it turned out exactly how I envisioned it. So you cut right hand into the underclay, which in isolation I felt like I could almost do, and then left hand fires up to that edge, which I couldn't do, but I sussed it with an intense power spot, and I'm confident that it goes. Back after a couple days rest, time to give it a flash burn. Well, that is not the crux and I'm still falling on it. Yeah, so no flash. As hard as that felt, that move definitely needs to be worked in isolation, especially since the move right after it is the true crux crux. And then there's a couple more hard moves before the easy end. So we are definitely not gonna be doing this ground up each time. We're gonna work this in sections. Maybe a power spot to try that next move. No, I... Uh... <laughs> Second crux identified. <laughs> Moving on. Penis. Uh, another crux. Ah, uh, uh, can't get the timing right. But the moves after that are actually kind of chill. Ah, uh, they'll be hard after the rest. Call it quits today, stop before I'm too wrecked, and come back tomorrow and try it again. And we're back for session two. So the plan today is to do the three moves that I couldn't do last session. The low percentage jump to that pinch. The post crux stand up into that side pole crescent thing. And then the crux move going left hand into that edge. We'll save the crux move for after I've worked out the other two. Nice, dude. Yep. Hitting the crescent felt way better than last time. Now I just gotta work on that jump. Well, I have eliminated all the sissy betas, so it looks like the only way to do it is to jump. 
That is going to be an extremely aggravating low percentage move. Ugh. Fuck it, I want to play on the crux. Yeah. Ah! I only got like a few more. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Oh! Come on. Oh! Come on. Yeah. the closest I've been. Uh, I keep hitting it with two fingers, which is not the beta, but that move feels like I almost got it. So that's progress. Enough for today. Session three. Gonna see if I can do the two moves that thwarted me last time. And at this point, I reckon the question y'all really want answered is how hard actually is this thing? We don't know. Hard. You heard him. It's hard. All right, all right, all right. But what V grade does this hard correspond with? Well, since no one's done it, I figure the most reliable way to grade the whole thing is to break it into pieces, grade those pieces, add up those grades, boom, got the grade for the whole thing. So let's do that. Yep. Gosh, that's gonna be hard to stick. Well, those might not go today. So let's calculate the grades of the individual parts. That's like V8 from the start and getting into the underclings. That move's like V9 or 10 on its own. It's super hard. And the move right after, it's not super easy either. That's like at least V7 on its own. And then right after that, the move to that left hand pinch isn't terrible, but the jump to that right hand pinch is fucking nails. After you catch the pinch, the moves to the end are actually pretty chill, luckily. Ugh, yeah, it's like V5. Yeah, the very end is like V5. So that's one, two, three, four moves of V8 into a one move V10, or let's conservatively say a V9 move into a V7 move, into a kind of easy move, and then V, I don't know, because I haven't done it. Let's conservatively say two move section, that's V9, and then a V5 end. So the four moves of V8 plus the one V9 move, that's like V10 slash 11. The V7 move into the V9, that's three moves of V10. So V10 into V10, that's V12 right there. Before we even get to the V5 end, which isn't gonna add anything significant, just a couple more moves that you gotta keep it together on. So I think we can conservatively say that this thing is V12. And that's what I had been going for when I originally said it. So that's cool. It's a rest day for me, but Kyle here is gonna crush the proj. Goal for today, from the dirt. So from the start into getting both hands under clinging. How hard do you think that is? Just that section. Probably an eight. V8, okay. Well, that corroborates the earlier estimate for that section. So if you do it, you want me to call 510 and tell them to sponsor you? Okay, can you reissue these shoes? Nice, Kyle. Nice, Kyle. Yeah, shift over. 
Ah, I just didn't get it right. Nice, Kyle. So if you do the boulder, are you gonna gonna call Sportiva and tell them to sponsor you? I mean, I'll, if you do it, I'll sell you the footage of you doing it so you can send it in and get a sponsorship. <laughs> nice, Kyle, come on. Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah, it is. You gotta have quite a bit of tension because it's pretty far away feeling. Turns out it's hard. Nice, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Enough, enough, enough. Oh, dude, tight. You can just get sponsored by both at the same time. Yeah. Nice, Kyle. Uh, nice, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, push. And the verdict is that it is hard.